Hey there, so we are on how do scientists use tools. It tells us first that you're going to watch this video and then it says go to Poplet or use the attached document to complete your tree map. Create a tree map like the example below. Your tree map should name three tools that scientists use and tell what each is used for. So I'm going to show you real quick. If you want to do the attached document, you click it here. You're going to go right here. That opens it up. First thing you're going to do is enable editing. Then we're going to save the document. So you go to file and we have to do save as. That's the first thing you do. When you do save as, that makes sure that you get to choose where the file is going and you get to provide the name for it. You go to computer, desktop, and then I always go to science, which you should already have the science folder. If for any reason you don't, create a new folder, label it science. But you should have this from the last time that we did. Um, I think it was a comics thing or something like that. Okay. So now you're going to have tree map and I already created it tree map. And then I just wrote my last name Scorpio. So it already had tree map in it. And I just added my last name. Okay. So I don't really need to save this again, but I'm going to go ahead and do that just so you get to see. Now I'm here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this text. So I just started right behind it. And then I just hold down my left button. And I'm going to scoot over and then I'm going to change the size of the font. And as you can see, it gets bigger and smaller. So I would probably make it a 20. And then you're going to do that to each of them. I'm going to make that a 20. If you just click right in the middle of it, it'll do it as well. And then of course the last one. So you're going to go ahead, put the name of the tool and then how it is used. You're all done. You can select just save because you already did save as. So you can click that and it'll save it for you or you can go here and click save here whichever you feel more comfortable with then what we're going to do is you're going to be uploading it at that point so i'm just going to go ahead and minimize once i'm all done i would go back to submit assignment choose file and then submit it however i do want to show you how to do poplet so we're going to go into poplet real quick So if you haven't ever used it before, I would do, um, well, we have to have you log in. So you're going to have to create a username. I'm already logged in on mine. So this way I could go ahead and show you. Okay. And I already started tree map Scorpio. So I'm going to click it. And what I would do is if I wanted to name it and that wasn't the name I wanted it, I would just go ahead and. Not Scorpio. Remember to use the title of um, what you're doing and then also your last name. And then here, you're going to pick what color you want for your poplet. So if you want it to be blue, it can be blue. This changes the background. I'm sorry. And this is the different colors of backgrounds. I prefer to just keep it white. When you want to get a poplet, which is going to give you the little bubble, you're just going to double click. And there it is. So it's got my name on it uh, here. It's going to add another one. And you can also do that'll add one there. If you click it here, you got to click inside the box again. You can put another one up here. Click it here. You can put another one here. Click it here. Put another one here. Now, according to the tree map that they had, it Obviously, it was different than that. So you could just do this. Oh, I don't want it. Click the X. All gone. Do you really want to do this popple? Yes, it's gone. So kind of like the one that we had here where it had one at the top and then it had the three down below. We could just do that one at the top. Now you're going to enter your text here. You can change the size of your text from big to small, centered to the right or to the left. This gives you to change the color of the poplet. This is if you want to, you know, do some drawing of some form. And then if you want to upload a picture, you click this one or a video. Okay. So again, same thing. Don't want it. Exit out here. This is for text. This is for color. This is if you want to do freehand. Of course, you can change the color of it, and then of course for uploading. Now let's say that we're all done. Oh, I didn't realize that if you did that, you can make it get bigger or smaller. 
Um, I just did that by using um, my mouse and then you have the part where you can roll. And so that's kind of a nice feature to have as well. All right. So now we are all done with this. And now if I want, I could leave and come right back to it. Okay, before we save it, I just want to go here and it's in the little gear and you can do save, edit, undo stuff, copy it, organize it, add content like YouTube or Vimeo. Um, you can view it in presentation mode. Really for you, the only thing that you're going to look at is going to be edit should you need to do that, if you need to undo something, and then save. So save was successful.